Okay guys, welcome back. I'm gonna to try to keep this video short. We're gonna solve these last two, uh, or in those examples seven and eight, I'm gonna use Desmos to do that. And I think what I wanna emphasize before we even go to Desmos, is in Desmos, you need to put y equals this side of the equation, y equals this side of the equation, and then you look for the intersection of the two graphs, okay? Um, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I typed in, and it's right here. All right, so the first one I typed in was y equals the left-hand side of that equation. To get these superscripts, you use your um, underscore key, shift underscore, and it'll drop your um, your uh, cursor down here where you can work, type in the superscripts. And then, remember, it's equal to zero. So I graphed y equals zero, which is the x-axis anyway, but there's your negative 1.333. That is your four-thirds, your negative four-thirds. And there's that too. Now that was pretty easy. Um, I'm not making a great case of, for why you need to do these by hand since we are allowed to use technology. I do know that. But there's some of you that want to go through the rigor and you will need it. You will need it. Okay. All right. So let's get this next one in here. This one was that weirdo we did. Um, we want to know when is it equal to 2. Just to go back and show you what I'm talking about. It was log base negative 2x minus 8 and it's equal to 2. And I typed it in just like it said, and there's where it's two. Now, if you'll remember, negative seven, negative six, I don't know what that is. That wasn't there a minute ago. But um, there's your two solutions. And the third point, I don't know what that's about right there. So, It's showing up again. All right, so the solutions we got do show up here, and um, this is an easy way to do these. So take advantage of this, and um, let me know how it goes for you, and we'll talk in our um, Zoom meeting.